When the Israelites left Egypt, the people were overjoyed. They danced and sang as they marched towards their promised land. After many years of slavery, they were now a free nation. They would travel through the wilderness and once again experience God's provision. There in the wilderness during the day, God led them with a huge cloud in the sky. The people could always look up and see it. God's presence was always there. During the night, the cloud turned into a pillar of fire, and the people knew when and where to go. God provided the Israelites with water and food and took care of them. Finally, the people came to the Red Sea, where they stopped for the night. Even though Pharaoh had let the people go, he suddenly changed his mind. Now he sent his entire army to chase them down. Hundreds of chariots and fierce soldiers came rushing after the Israelites. The Egyptian army came closer. When the Israelites saw this, they grew in fear and started complaining to Moses, Why did you bring us out here to die? We were much better off in the land of Egypt. When Moses saw this and heard the complaints of the Israelites, he prayed to the Lord, and the Lord told him exactly what to do. Once again, God's mighty power would be displayed for all to see, and hopefully this time, the Israelites would learn to trust God. God told Moses to stretch out his hands over the mighty sea. A strong wind began to blow that turned the raging sea into a dry land. This created a perfect path for the Israelites to pass through. It was a wonderful thing to behold. The waters piled up on either side, and once again, God delivered the Israelites from the hand of the Egyptians. That entire night, the wind kept blowing. The Israelites, with all their possessions, safely passed through. Right on their tracks were the Egyptian army. Even seeing the wonder God was doing, the Egyptians had no fear and charged right into the sea after the Israelites. When the last of the Israelites passed through the passageway, God told Moses to raise his hands and staff again. This time, the wind stopped blowing, and God swept the Egyptian army into the ocean. The waters covered the passageway, and Pharaoh's entire army drowned. Not one survived. When the Israelites saw what the Lord had done, they worshipped him. They were struck with awe at God's deliverance and decided to put their trust in God and his servant Moses. Their exodus out of Egypt was over, but their wandering in the wilderness would last for many more years.